Since the 1960s, with each new generation comes a new vehicle to send humans into space. There was Mercury, the first one. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. Apollo, the one that sent humans to the moon. Later came the space shuttles of the 1980s. And eventually came SpaceX. It was a SpaceX Falcon rocket that launched Turkey's first astronaut back in January. And up next, Boeing Starliner which will hopefully look just as flawless on its actual launch as it does in this animation. There are very few moments in history when a new human-rated spacecraft launches into orbit, and that is exactly what's happening with the Boeing Starliner launch. It's an incredibly exciting moment because it means there is one new vehicle that can carry humans into space. But it didn't come easily. America's NASA space agency hired SpaceX and Boeing a decade ago, paying billions for the two companies to compete against each other, to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station before it is shuttered for good in 2030. But while SpaceX got humans there first, Boeing's planned launches of Starliner have been plagued with technical issues and scrubbed launches. Its two-person crew of Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams know the risks. Do we expect it to go perfectly? This is the first human flight to the spacecraft. I'm sure we'll find things out. We're, that's why we do this. This is a test flight. So when you do test, you expect to find things, and we expect to find things. There are some key differences between Starliner and SpaceX. SpaceX lands in the ocean on re-entry, while Starliner will deploy parachutes to land on land somewhere in the American West. And even though we're getting used to space travel, historians say we shouldn't lose our sense of wonder about the launch of Starliner. Within the past year, we've seen more space launches uh, crewed and uncrewed than any other period in history. And though it may seem like it's something that is routine, it is anything but. It is remains a spectacular feat of engineering and you know human effort. And all of this is part of the next big goal, getting back to the moon. The U.S. is in a race now to establish a permanent base there, with the goal of eventually using that as a way station to get to the next big destination, a permanent base on Mars. Malik Fuda, TRT World.